factory action. Okay, guys. We're here today to learn how to reset a safety switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that you guys can competently reset the power once the power's gone off at home. So by doing that, what we're going to do is have a little bit of insight into what a safety switch is and what it does. We're going to follow another uh, slide that will show us the steps we need to take to reset the safety switch, and then we're going to do a practical demonstration. And by the end, you'll be competent enough to reset a safety switch without any problems at all. So what we're going to do, first up, we'll look at what a safety switch is and what it does. Safety switch is a re residual current device or a earth leakage circuit breaker. And it's found in the motor box or in a switchboard. It's similar to a fuse or a circuit breaker and it can, can detect overloads in short circuits, but it can also detect as the name suggests, residual currents or earth leakages. These residual currents are active to earth faults and could potentially be lethal or even start a fire. Commonly, RCDs have a trip rating of 30 milliamps, which is 30 millionths of an amp, one amp. You know, trip off within milliseconds and save your life. A safety switch is usually, due, usually trips due to faulty appliance being plugged into a power point or if there's a fault in the circuit wiring. A fault could be caused by damage to an appliance or wiring, or a breakdown of insulation due to vermin, the age of the appliance or wiring system, and or the incursion of water. Now I've got a few examples here of safety switches. You may know what one looks like, you may not. You might not have seen one before. We've got two examples here that are pretty much similar. One is a circuit breaker, that's just circuit protection. This is a combination of two. Is there anything you notice about the two of those? What's different? Oh, That's okay. right. It's a test button. So what happens is, if you've got a safety switch, every couple of months you should go up to the meter box, press the button and test it and trip it off. If it doesn't trip off, call an electrician to replace it. So there's a couple of different ones here. Have a look. See if you can see the difference between them two. See if you can see the difference between that one and that one, or even this setup, they're all different. <laughs> There's different numbers on here. One says C32 and C20. That's the current rating of the, the RCD. New regulations, we need to have, with new regulations, we need to have a safety switch for every circuit in a house. In a new installation. So therefore the 32, the 20, and I think that one's a 10. Yeah. They're for different applications, different circuits. So this one is the same as this, but it's two pole. It's just physically bigger. Okay, and then we have this configuration. This is a safety switch only. It's not a circuit protection device. These are circuit protection devices. So we'll show this again later on. But this just operates as a safety switch, and that is like a fuse or circuit breaker and protects the, the circuit wiring. I'll save your life. So, now, next slide. Is a scenario. What we're going to do, you come home, you go to the kitchen to make a cup of tea. Back, I've started the PowerPoint. The slide there, the slideshow. You come home, go to the kitchen to make a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. can we, we, can, we can edit that out. I don't know how to stop the slideshow. Can you press pause? Okay, we've got a demonstration we're going to have, and it's, this is a scenario. You come home from where you go to the kitchen to make a cup of tea, fill the kettle, plug it in, turn it on, no power. This is what we need to do. We go to the next slide. This is a, a flow chart. So we've got no power. So we plug the kettle in, power goes off. First thing we do is unplug the kettle. Not just turn it off, we have to physically unplug it. So then we go out, we check, oh, sorry, we check all the other appliances around. Yeah, well, there's no power. It's nothing in the fridge or the microwave. Better go into the meter box. 
So we go out to the meter box, we look for the safety switch, which we know what will look like, so we're doing one of these. We check to see if one's tripped. We see one's tripped, we recenter. All's good, we know the kettle's faulty. We throw it out by a new one. Now a cup of tea for you. If we try to reset it and the safety switch won't reset and it keeps tripping, that indicates there's a fault somewhere else. So what we have to do then is we'll need to unplug everything in the house. Everything's plugged into a power point, we unplug it. We go out and rock to the meter box again, try and reset it. If it resets, we plug each appliance back in one at a time. When we come to a power point with a faulty appliance that, that tripped it, we plug it in and it trips it out. We know what caused it. We know that that's a faulty appliance. If it won't reset after that, then we know there's a problem with the circuit wiring. And then we have to call an electrician. If that happens and you have this set up, what we'll need to do, turn, when the safety switch trips, we turn all these circuit breakers off, turn the safety switch back on, we turn these one, one at a time, when it trips out, we know that's a faulty circuit. So we leave that one off, turn the other on, the rest of those circuits are still good, it's just a one faulty circuit that's off. Okay, how's that? Any questions? No. We're all clear. Yep. So what do we do first? Unplug the kettle. Okay, <laughs> very good. What do we do if the safety switch doesn't reset? We go through and unplug all the appliances. That's it, throughout the whole house. Yeah. Every appliance. No worries. Okay, so let's have a demonstration. Okay, we're in the kitchen and we have this piece of technical equipment, of technical equipment that simulates an active to earth fault. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug that in under here and that simulates our kettle. Put it down. Do you want to do the honours? Just turn the switch on. So the power's tripped down. So what do we do? First thing we do. No? Yeah, plumb stop it. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> what else can we notice? Yeah. Oh, everything else is turned off. Is there any power in the fridge? No. So the power's been tripped. Lights are still on. The lights are on because they're on a different circuit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Very sharp. Oh. Okay, so what we need to do now is we go out to the meter box and we try and reset the power. So we'll head out there. Now most houses will find the meter box is usually on the outside, usually towards the front of the house, one side or the other. Now if we come around, come around here, here you can see. Mm -hmm. Shaman, you can see. And what do you what do you see in there? One of them's off. That's right. So how do you know it's a safety switch? It's got a test button on it. You can see the test button. Very good. So what do we do? We try and turn it back on, shall we? You can do the honours. Power comes back on. Everything should be good. So what have we found? Faulty appliance. The kettle has got a problem. So we're going to throw it out, get a new one. All the water in the saucepan on the, on the stove. This is a, an example of how you test your safety switch. That's the test button. So, okay, we know what we've done, we know what's going on. Okay, check the appliances. No. Okay, now we've figured out what happens if it's a faulty kettle, but what if it's not? You try and reset it. It won't reset. Okay, so there is a fault somewhere else, it's not the kettle. Okay, this is the other scenario that we looked at on the flow chart. So, what we need to do now is, is what here? Basically, uh, go through and start unplugging the appliances. Unplug everything in the house. Mm. Leads, appliances, whatever. Power boards, everything. We don't want anything plugged into a power point. We can't just turn it off, we have to actually physically unplug it. Okay? So we'll go and do that. 
Let's go. Okay, so we'll just turn off and unplug everything in the house. So that. Unplug the toaster. Unplug the microwave. Unplug the fridge. That's the fridge simulator. Action. Okay, so we've unplugged everything in the house and hopefully we'll reset, which it does. So we know there's another appliance that's not any good, so it needs to be uh, found. So what we do is we re-plug everything back in one at a time until this trips again. And then when that trips, I know exactly which appliance it was that caused the problem in the first place, and we'll be able to rectify that next year. Okay, let's go. reset it for me straight away. <laughs> we need to stop that and do it again, I think. We figured out it was a fridge that was faulty in that case. So that could be because there could be vermin living in the back of your fridge. You don't know, there might be mice or something in there. The compressor might have gone and caused a short. It could be, could be anything. Bad thing to happen, your fridge gave, but if it's causing a fault, you don't want that to electrocute you, so to electrocute you or start a fire. So, now we've, we've done there, we know what's going on. We'll head back out to the meter box in another scenario. I have a stove ready. Gotcha. Okay guys, so we've done the fully appliance and we know that we plugged it in, we've unplugged it and we've come out and we set the power. We've done another scenario where we weren't sure what it was. It wasn't the kettle, it was something else and we reset the power. Now there's another situation is where there could be a problem with the circuit wiring itself. So, well, don't reset. So, this situation is where the circuit wiring has got a problem and we need to get an electrician to come and look at it to fix it. Now, this is where this sort of situation, if you had this array, you'd, reset, you'd turn these breakers off, you'd reset your safety switch, and you turn each one on until one wouldn't reset, and you know that's a faulty one. Okay, and it'll trip the safety switch. So you leave them ones, that one off, leave those on, reset your power, so you've only got the one circuit that's out, and the rest of the house is okay. <laughs> so you're not sitting there in the dark. Okay, any questions? No? No questions at all. Are you in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? <laughs> okay, then what, what we'll do, we'll go inside, and we'll do a little bit of a recap and go over what we've done. So after you guys. Okay, so we've gone through everything. You've got a complete understanding, haven't you? So complete. Okay, so complete. So what do you do first up when the power trips off? Unplug the appliance. Unplug the appliance. And so what do you do? Go to the safety switch. And what do you do then? Go and unplug all the appliances. No, see. <laughs> No, so what we do, you unplug the kettle, we'll go back to our, our flow chart. We've got no power, mm -hmm. unplug the kettle, then we check the appliance, uh, unplug the appliance, mm -hmm. check the other appliances around to see if we've got any power, then we go to the meter box. And then we plug it back in, and then we try to reset it, and if it resets, we know the kettle's faulty. We got it now? Got it. Understand? How about you here? What? <laughs> what? What do you do if the safety switch won't reset? Go through and unplug all the appliances that you've got plugged in with the power circuit. The whole house? Yeah. Oh, so you don't know what circuit it yeah. is. So we have to check, we have to unplug everything in the whole house. Mm. And then we re-plug them in one at a time until it trips off. What if it doesn't trip off? Shall I? Any idea? What if, it, what if it doesn't trip off? So you've done everything else and it won't, still won't reset, what would you do? 
Pick a key, strip it out. Yeah. So, um, check the safety switch. Call electrician. Call electrician. It's obviously, you've done everything you can by plugging everything back in, unplugging, you've done everything you can. So then if you still won't reset, you call an electrician to come and fix it for you. Because there's obviously a fault somewhere else that you can't do. But by following these steps, and even that step over there, I'm, I'm plugging and replugging everything in, you're doing everything you can to restore the power. Okay? Totally understood now? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah. Good. I'm glad. I'm going to get you guys to fill out a form just so that you can assess me. Ooh. Now I've assessed you and asked you questions. I'll get your pen and some paper and you can do that and hand it back to me. Just have a look at those and see what you think. Well, <laughs> you're lucky your dad's an electrician. Yeah. <laughs> I call my dad. Okay, so, so do, you, do you get it now? Do you understand now what you yeah. need to do? Most safety switches do have a flow chart that you put in the meter box and it can follow. But old installations like this one, it doesn't have it. Mm. They don't put it in the meter box. But generally, unplug what you've got straight away, what you've plugged in straight away. And that way, if it doesn't reset, you get to the next step. If it is, you throw that full appliance away. Or some water in the saucepan. Make a day. I'll put the kettle on while you guys fill that out, and we'll have a cuppa, <laughs> now that we can. And uh, thank you very much for your time, for the lesson, and uh, I hope you have a better understanding of what you need to do in a case of a power outage. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Okay, guys.